There we go. <clears throat> what is up, everybody? We've got some stuff tonight. Um, so it's been like two to three weeks. Actually, it's been more than that since I played this game for stream. <laughs> and there's a lot of stuff going on. So um, there is a bonus event that I actually started last night. Um, it's called Sunken Treasure. Two bucks marks in the loony coin. Um, also, like, I actually hit, like, my 25,000 achievement a while ago. Okay, not a while ago. Like, last week? So, I got, like, 400 gems. I don't know what to do with them. They're just gonna sit there. But anyway. <sighs> next expansion actually comes out next month, too. So, anyway. So. What we're going to do tonight is we're going to do some mastery point seeking. Um, I'm not going to do Icebird Saga. I need a break from Icebird Saga. That's where I left off was Icebird Saga. But I think I'm going to work on this one because Obsidian Armor Crafting. Gain access to final crafting recipes for legendary armor. I need to get... I need to get some more some more points. I mean, I'm not going to be able to unlock all of those things, but that will definitely help. Because I have 46 days left to get as many of these things done because I have been slacking so bad. I got my legendary one already, the legendary starter kit set four. And then I got this skin, which that's 2,000 astral currency right down the drain. So I still have this to get, the Ascended Weapon Chest. I have three of these to get. And then after that, it's just like whatever I'm going to be able to get. But mostly I want to get these because I can salvage them to get Dark Matter to craft something that I need. I don't remember what I need it for. I think it's for Legendary Armor. And I get these things and I, I salvage them. So that's where we're at. So as you can see, technically I could get one of these, but I want to get this first because that's one and 600. I'm going from the most to the least. So <sighs> I've been tempted to get this, but I thought, I don't know. I'm surprised that the Mystic Coins are still kind of expensive-ish. But anyway, so that's where we're at. So I need... So according to this for the special, well, we're doing this one, right? <clears throat> I need to do this one for the 150, but if I don't get, there's like two, two fractals that I need to do left for this one. Um, I know Vic is playing Arma, but hopefully he can get back before. Yeah, it's four days. Today's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. <clears throat> He'll be back on Sunday night, hopefully. So if not... I wanted to go hassle somebody and be like, go with me in a fractal. I don't want to do it myself. Um, then, yeah, I got a couple of these things. Um, which one was that? Is there a 500 one still? No, oh, just a bunch of 300s. Yeah, we can work on these things. I saw this one. Forge a piece of obsidian or it's suffused... Obsidian Legendary Armor, which I never got my Obsidian Armor in Guild Wars 1. That was a definite problem on my end. I need to go do that still. But, but yeah, I want to see if I can get a bunch of these. Hopefully I can get some of these done before this time runs out. So, with that said... There is something going on right now that is Sunken Treasure, and we've got three days left to do this. So I have started this last night, and I saw that they had account swim speed boosts. So it means you swim faster underwater, which I was like, holy shit. I was thinking about this one, but at the same time, I'd rather just get the account one. But I need to get this. In order to get this, I need to get... I, I'm not quite sure. I have the Ecto. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what... I 
guess that's... Oh, I get it. Okay, I have to get this. Alright, so I need 32. Oh, wow. No, we're going to do this a couple times. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's see if I remember. So, I have 30 of them. And, yeah. So, to do this, you can... These are the two that are left for the, um, the thing. But we need to go to... There's a repeatable one for these. I don't know. We'll find out. So, Blood Tide Coast. Let's see if I remember where this one was at. It was somewhere over here. So, we'll go to Laughing Gull. Oh, I forgot to empty Steve. I have to remember to do that. What? What? Oh, shit. No, I forgot to put her bed out. I'm sorry. So this is also a good time that if you have a skimmer as a mount, if you have not gotten the ability to do this, I have a guide for that. I don't have the thing plugged in, so I can't ping it, but if you go to CheshireGaming.com, you can definitely find it easy peasy right there. Oh shit, I can do it again, yep. Oh, there it is, Master Diver. You have completed this achievement one time, and each time that you do the ten chests, you get these. And this is what you need in order to get the other stuff. So, you only need to do one out of ten. Um, so, yeah. So, we'll go to Gandarn next. I'm just going to go from there. Instead of the one thing that I was following, it was really kind of all over the place. I think it was on this one. I think it was here. Actually, I don't remember now. I'm gonna go find it. Hold on. Sunken Treasure Week. Done. Proven Shore. It's in Gundarin. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And you don't need to have any of the expansions in order to do this. So if you wanted to come along with me while we do this, it's... I mean, you get some nice things. You just have to have things opened. Or just teleport to friend. Here's my legendary trident underneath, or underwater. Oh, 
Alright, Harassi. This one was. Let's see if I remember. It was over here. Yep, Ku Ku Fun Lu. Seriously, if you guys want help with this, I'll be more than happy to take you around. Yesterday I found out that the, thunder, that the thunder shrimp in this game can definitely come onto shore and get you. Cassex Hills. Cassex Hills and this one was down here. Got some sewing projects done earlier today. Things I've been needing to do. One of them was a skirt that we found at Goodwill, Kitty and I, and I had to do a little bit of fixing up, but that is now done. I'm not much of a skirt person, but this one I couldn't even say no. I missed it, I missed it, I missed it. So next one after Kessex Iron Marches. Oh, the work isn't fighting me anymore, so. Iron marches, and this one was in this lake here, yeah. Pretty sure. And the only problem with this is that you have to do all 10 and then reset it. So you can't just like go to another instance and you know hit the same thing. No, you have to complete the 10. Which isn't honestly that bad, but if you are like really stingy with your teleportation stuff, you're going to have an issue. Alright, Snowden Drifts. That one is down here.
This one's like right down below. Frost Gorge. This one was down here. The last time I went here, it redirected me, so I had to do a decent amount of travel. Dove too soon, dove too soon. Next up is Lornar's Pass. My absolute favorite map in the whole fucking game. That's a lie. I think it's down here if I remember correctly. For how long? Um... Kitty, are you still here? Say something in chat. Alright. Let me get this real quick. Just stay here. We murder these crate. Something about the fucking jellyfish. Oh, come. Oh, don't, don't, don't say that, man. I was looking at the hummus earlier today. Oh, so, right now, there is actually a sale going on with Guild Wars 2. Um, I think I posted this in Discord as well. There is a sale. Yep, so... Path of Fire, Heart of it, Thorns... Those are expansions one and two, which I'm pretty sure almost everybody has those by this point in time. It they are seven dollars and forty nine cents. End of Dragons, which is expansion three, is fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Secrets of the Obscure, which is the one that just came out and they just finished wrapping that up, is expansion four, and that is nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. And the one that they just got done having, the one that's coming out next month. I'm going to show you is $24.99. And that's just the base. Which, I'm going to be honest, if you look in here, you can always get the deluxe versions and you can get the additional character slot. Like, you don't have to buy the big thing right off the bat. Yeah, but right now they have a sale going on. They have the summer sale going on right now. So I think with you, I don't know if you got end of dragons i know that you do not have secrets of the obscure that's twenty dollars 
And then with the one that's coming out next month, which is Jan the Janthier Wilds or Wilds of the Janthier, whatever the fuck, it's $25. Emotions, <clears throat> um, I don't know if they're going to show it in here. Now, nah, hold on. Also, it looks like they are going to get a lot of inspiration from the Paragons. So that's pretty nice. Janthier Wilds, that's what it's called. Okay, so let's go to Overstew.com. Shop. Actually, here, fuck it. Yeah, hold on. Right here. This is right here. Summer sale up to 75% off the expansions. Oh, nice. Um, your living world is also on sale. So, yeah, it starts at $25. This is what I got. So, you, it's, yeah. So, yeah, no, this is like, honestly, this is, this is a pretty good deal. Like whenever they do these things, it's nice. I mean, you can get one, two and three for 20. That's not bad at all. So if you are just starting out in this game and you want to get like, Jesus, instead of paying 50 bucks right off the bat, 20. So... Timberline. Timberline is this one. Yeah, this one's down there. Hmm. I wait until Kitty gets back, but there's something I also wanted to say. And I'll probably type this in Discord as well. I mean, I could probably do it now, but... I could set it with this, and then I'll type it in. Like this set. Oh, no, stream. Is in here. Can't pass on the rich platinum vein, that's always here. Alright, so welcome back, Kitty. Alright, so what I was saying... Uh, so, let me get out of here. Must should ever complete yet again. Actually, I want to go over here. <laughs> I don't trust the crate. The crate probably want to come up after me and be like, "Yeah, but not." See, see, see. What the shit was that? Okay. So this is what I was showing earlier. Um. 
So I think with you, Kitty, I think you have End of Dragons. I think. Because I think you have the Jade Bot. So for you, I think it's just these two. This is the one that we just finished up. I know that you don't have this one. And then this is the one that's coming out next month, the 20th. <laughs> but yeah, I think you have this one. Yeah, I think you have this one. So it's just these two. Which, that's not bad. Like, seriously, like, the the sale that's going on right now is, is nice. This is that one time of year that they go really hard on that stuff. The only other time was, like, around Christmas. But, um, what I was also saying was that for those who might be coming back to the game or if they want to start up the game, right here, that's all you need. That's all you really need because that's going to give you everything that you need mount-wise, um, class-wise. Obviously, Secrets of the Obscure, it's you you want that, but this right here, the bundle between the first three expansions, it's going to give you a shit ton of stuff. And you cannot beat $20 for that. So, um, I do know with this, the Janthier Wilds, we're actually getting housing. Something that people have been asking for in this game for a long time. I'm actually going to go post that. Hold on. So if you don't know what housing is, pretty much almost every other MMORPG out there has this. Yeah. Housing. Like, you have your own little den and you decorate it. Turns of Magic had it, Final Fantasy has it, WoW has I think WoW has it. Um, I know Triggs goes on and on about why they never had housing. Very wild. Let's go in reverse. Can I go back in here and do this? If I just finished it, does it gonna show up again? Probably not. I would find it funny if it did though. No. I have to actually leave the map with that. Oh nope, it actually is here. Holy shit. Okay. That's funny. I have heard that World vs. World is not doing great with what they've done. They're not gonna fix they're not gonna reverse it. Sad. But they won't reverse that. Timberline.
Oh my god. Lorimar's first gorge. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. It's Frost Gorge next, alright. Wait, was it Frost Gorge or was it Snowden? Frost Gorge and then Snowden. Yeah, we'll do Snowden first. Dude, I so want to make Dilk Nickels, but right now we have other stuff that we need to get under control before I go into that. <laughs> Seriously though, I wanna make I wanna make Dilk Pickle Relish. Dive, dive, dive. This is where I found out that Thunder Shrimp can come and get you. <laughs> Alright, so this was that one. Frost Gorge is next. <clears throat> I just want hummus. I, need, I want to make hummus. I need chickpeas, which we can. Uh... Alright, let's iron marches. Pizza flavored what the hell? Pizza flavored hummus? That does not sound good. That does not sound good at all. Oh, that sounds good. Jesus. I can't open it when these things are here. Oh, wait. I need... I need to get more keys. Finally, I need use for these things. Where 
I think it's going to be Kessex next. Yeah, I got it. This one was here. Dude, it's the fifth. Why are you still suffering from fireworks? Thunder shrimp, thunder shrimp, do 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 thunder shrimp, thunder shrimp, thunder shrimp, do 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 thunder shrimp, shark 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 shark. I think I need to do this run a total of three times, maybe four, to get all of the things I'm looking for. I don't know. I'm gonna do it one more time after we finish this, though. So I did Kessex, Blood Tide. Actually, we'll do it's this, the, yeah, okay. Arathia, we'll do Harathi next. So tonight we are having the rest of the fish that we bought. I'm actually digging it. It's really good fish. Bass. I don't think I've got the stats on my... No, I don't have any infusions with it. Sounds pretty good. Earlier we had scrambled eggs with hot dog inside a sandwich topped with ketchup. And then when Vic is gone, I have some tuna in a can, tuna salad in the can, that has been asking to be eaten. So it's going to be between that and ramen because I don't feel like doing anything fancy when, I'm, when he's gone. I thought I could open it up before he hit me, but... Them blood tide. Mm, shit. What is it? Laughing goal. Yep, there it is. Yeah, we have a pretty small pantry. Um Yeah. Nothing like what you guys have. Jesus Christ.
that's done. Nice. Okay, so I have 85 of these. So if it's 32, 64, 96. So yeah, I'm going to, have to do this one more time. Because I don't know, like that's that's how my my math is working out here. Oh shit! I'm not going to go somewhere or. Actually, let's go back to LA. We can go and get those things started at least. And then we can reset that as well. Ah. Oh. Nice. I finally convinced Vic that we should get a mini fridge. Now I just have to get the mini fridge. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, are you serious? Okay, so if we buy one, oh, okay. A mini fridge. All right, so we have this. Oh, I didn't need to get that. Okay, well. I need 32. Of these. So I have 71. The math is not mathing. Okay, so these are 10. I have 71. Okay, you know what? Where does some did it from? It's the only one that they. Okay. Our old ref our refrigerator is dying. We had to move everything out of the refrigerator part and stick it into the freezer. So we have been living out of that for like a couple of months of just living out of the freezer. Understanding how this works. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Something's not right here.
How do you get the boost? Fuck! Okay, so... For this upgrade, 1024 swim speed and fusion plus 10s are needed. Upgrading them gradually from that of plus 10 infusions to 1 plus torrency infusion. Uh, comparison, upgrading them directly to 32 of plus 15 infusions and then, okay. That's what we were thinking because we don't really keep, it, it sounds weird, but we don't really keep leftovers. And if we do, it's like we make a dish and then we eat that for a, until it's gone. So like we bought four pieces of bass and they had the hot dogs that were on sale for three for two. So we have been finishing those up. We don't have anything else. And we just make things out of that. We don't really stockpile things. I did, however, find out that sticking the loaf of bread that I made last week into the freezer and I pulled it out last night to thaw and it does not get a freezer taste, which is good. That means that if I don't sell a loaf of bread this weekend, I can just shove it in the freezer and then pull it out again. <laughs> but I was also thinking of getting a mini because it's going to be it's going to be cheaper power wise. Also, if we get the mini, we can redo the kitchen kind of and have just a big ass countertop in one side instead of like the partial one and then the gap and then the refrigerator make taking the kitchen aid off of the refrigerator tons easier that thing's heavy i'm talking like one of those 1970s kitchen aids like those things are heavy as shit and when we went to walmart because i found out Oh, that's going to cost so much money. But anyway, when we found out that we went to Walmart because they found um, they have Rice Krispies there. Because like nobody else in this goddamn fucking CVMX apparently sells Rice Krispies that are not chocolate flavored. But anyway, so Walmart actually sells Rice Krispies. And when we were there, we were walking around and we went to the refrigerator section and they actually have like 120 centimeter tall mini fridges. And... For those who don't know that conversion, just short of four foot. Basically, it's four foot. A lot of them that I've seen are like three foot. Anyway, so we saw that they had those, and if if we ever get to the points. We can have two of them, but they're also, <sighs> they're also cheaper. If I don't know, it just, it's way more convenience. It sounds really weird, but like, yeah, we, the currently what we have in the refrigerator is coffee because that's how you prolong your coffee for stuff. That's how I've always been taught. Um, vegetables, but we don't really store vegetables and the only vegetables that we do store would be potatoes, onions, which you don't keep those in the refrigerator. You keep those outside to keep them prolonged. Nothing really sticks around long anyway, cause we use it. Um, zanori, um, carrots, I'm trying to use English and Spanish here. So zanoria slash carrots, um, apples, if they're on sale. But in reality, we don't really have a need for a big fridge. Like, our refrigerator has actually never been full. Unless it was a time that we didn't actually do anything and we let shit go bad and then the refrigerator was gross and I'm pretty sure something was growing out of it. 
I could close the, the door forcefully. Yeah. Several times because something was trying to escape. Yeah, something was trying to escape. But yeah, like, we don't really... You want to go see Wera? Okay. Be careful. But yeah, we don't really need a full-size refrigerator. It sounds really weird. Just how it is. My biggest issue is the freezer, but we found out that at Walmart, they also have chest freezers and they even have a small narrow one. I was like, <gasps> and I wanted it so bad. I wanted it so bad. It was the same price as the mini fridge. I'm like, <laughs> all right, so back to this. So in order to get the account swim at speed boost, upgrading them directly to 32. <sighs> Okay, so this one's like 23 gold, so how are we going to do this? Oh, I see how we're doing this. Okay. Okay, okay. We're gonna math this. Okay. We'll just do eight of those. Four of these, two of those, we got one of, okay, we got a 14, 13, and a 12, so we'll need another 12, thirteen, and two fourteens. We're halfway there. <laughs> okay. And they do. And that was something that Vic didn't believe me about is that they do have mini fridges with separate parts. Like we don't really stick things in the freezer because we just never do. Ice cubes. When we make ice cubes. And most of the mini fridges that have the two parters, guess what? You can there's enough room in there to make ice cubes. But I think what happened is that when we went to Walmart and he saw that, yes, indeed, they have two parts, ones like refrigerator, freezer. And then the ones, like, our problem is we are looking for something that's kind of deep. Um, a lot of the ones that we were looking, that we saw, like, online were, like, mini fridges, but they're kind of shallow. And, like, it's more like what you put drinks in. But for us, like if we make something in the crock pots, we don't keep it in the crock pot. Um, we, you know, dish it out into like glassware and then we stick it in there, but we have to make sure it's going to be able to hold glassware. And I think the biggest one that we have is what the jello is in right now, which is about 30 centimeters, give or take. So gotta make sure that it's gonna be able to accommodate that and so far the only place that seems to have those is Walmart um I was really hoping that we could find them on Amazon but the ones on Amazon are really tiny those are the three footers that are not deep and Vic will not go for those <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying but no it's it's going to help. It's going to help a lot in the end. Because, I mean, I would I would take you guys into the kitchen, but I have to clean it. Like, we don't have any dirty dishes. Well, we have one dish that I need to wash, but it's more of it looks disorganized because I've been putting... I had to go buy stuff today. We had to go put it away. It's just it's not organized at all, and it is bad, and that's going to change this weekend. <clears throat> because I ran out of time. Anyway, but as of right now, we have a refrigerator that's a little bit taller than me. I'm five foot six, give or take. 
Um, five five or five six? I don't remember. Somewhere in there. And it's a little bit taller than me. And in order to get the bread machine or the KitchenAid or the well, the spare blender is now outside in the in the bin for protection, storage wise. What else is up there? Oh, the juicer. It also makes peanut butter. But I got it for juicing. But anyway, those three things live on top of the refrigerator because we don't have anywhere else to put it. And seriously, that KitchenAid. I'm. Damn near like 17 kilos. Yeah. That thing's heavy. And when you're bringing it down, yeah. That thing is. Fuck. <laughs> 35 pounds. So you can only imagine that if you don't have a grip on that, you're going to get injured. I mean, thank God the bread machine doesn't weigh that much. But. And that's actually one of the easier ones to get. Um, we have, so we have, we have a KitchenAid, we have a juicer, and we have a, we actually have two bread machines, but we have one, the lighter one, that sits on top of the refrigerator. We have one that my godmother sent because she wanted to downsize, and that was when we could not fix the, pr the previous bread machine. So now we have two. So... I don't know what to do with both of them, but, you know, we're going to figure it out. <laughs> um, we also have a dehydrator. That is in the hallway closet, along with the toaster oven. And we have two crock pots. One of them Vic broke. And I really don't want to throw it away because I really do think we can save it. We need to find an epoxy to seal the hairline crack that's going along the bottom and then you can find a six quart liner and you can still use it and the only reason why is because if there's been certain times when I wanted to make a like an apple butter but I can't because we're making something with the other with the crock pot like pork or we're doing the chicken with carrots onions and potato or something else because if you don't know the concept of a crock pot you put shit in it and you let it sit for hours at least four hours most of the time we run hours for six to eight because we wanted to get super super juicy and easy to pull apart falls apart melt in your mouth kind of stuff so you can only imagine that if I want to do something with the crock pot and it's currently busy I have to postpone that and anyway so that is for like our big heavy kitchen machinery I guess is what you can call it outside we have a spare blender which that one I brought I brought that it's a ninja blender and that is in case of the one that we have which I think is an old ass oster whenever that one decides to fucking kick the bucket we have that one to go um, we have a George Foreman, nothing fancy, like two, two little hamburger patty size. That's outside. And we have, oh, what is that? It's something that Vic has that had, it's like, uh, something you can make grilled cheese with and it cuts the sandwiches into triangles. I don't know what it is, but it's amazing. <laughs> So, yeah, that's, 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 that's our inventory of kitchen stuff. More than you guys probably ever wanted to know.
Okay, so now we are at two 15s. We have a 16. Okay, so the 16, a 12, and an 11. Can I salvage those? No, I think I can. All right. It's going to take some time to get, I think. I guess, I mean, we might end up just doing this all night. Just like a chill, a chill stream. Let's solve these. My gold is slowly depleting, but that's in my defense. In my defense, I have been busy. I have put in putting my gold to use. As you can tell, I actually have one, two, three, four, five. I have five weapons that are pretty much ready to be made into legendaries. I've been busy. <laughs> the kicker that I've been having an issue with is the gift of fortune. So that's that's the biggest issue. But I've been working on this, so my gold has depleted. I have a dreamer waiting to be sold still, and it's just it's taking its time. But I have one, two, three, four, five. I still have six that I need to turn into. Never mind, I have seven that I need to turn into legendaries. So it's, it's going, it's slowly going. I also got my third legendary light armor. Yeah, is this one right here? So, and I crafted my legendary back piece. So yeah. I've, I've been going through my gold pretty quickly, recently-ish, just finishing up some of these things that needed to get out of my bank. I'll get there. I'll get there. And being that this is now July, I am going to, oh God, I'm hoping that I will have enough. I am really hoping that I have enough by the time October hits so that we can possibly do a giveaway of a legendary weapon, mostly the pony bow. I'm hoping. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but and I wish I didn't get that second one, but oh well. No, oh, I can't destroy it either. Oh well. How much? How much is, what is it, uh... Swim. Swim speed infusion. Holy shit. Yeah, no. Fuck. Yeah, nobody's at that 32. Jesus. 24. Jeez, you gotta be kidding me. Seriously? You go from 21 to from 8. Nah. 
Are these actually the same? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna look on the yeah, let's look at the plus twenty and then yeah. I don't wanna see the trend. Hold on. People are actually buying it for 304 gold, the swim at speed infusion plus 20. And the demand is actually pretty high. Holy shit. That would be an easy farm. Anyway. Not gonna do it. All right, let's continue doing this. <clears throat> as of now by the way um so vic is not going to be here this weekend um he is going to be in another state so it's just going to be me this weekend we are still on target to play Arma 3, so at the usual time, we just will not have Vic present. Ah, oh, sad times, sad, sad times, I know. Um, I've gotten one of the baking things done already today. That was the croutons. I'm gonna be doing Rice Krispies after stream just to help and like reduce the workload because I won't have Vic around to help make stuff so I have to make a loaf of bread for tomorrow which that since I just do it in the bread machine it's easy not as squeezy um and then empanadas which I bought everything I took the dough down out of the freezer so that has been thawing all day a refrigerator it gets cold but it doesn't get cold if that makes any sense like if you put meat in there it's not going to stay good it's going to go bad but for something that you are thawing it's fine it's it's so fucking weird. Weird ass fridge. I do know that I also need to do some sewing for this weekend because August is coming up. That's when kids go back to school. And one of my things that I wanted to do this year was to get through my fabric stock. Well, I have a bunch of fabric that wasn't big enough to uh, really make anything. Like, big, but it's good enough for, like, making pencil pouches, so doing that as well this weekend mostly because I want to get more fabric but I don't have anywhere to put the fabric because I need to get rid of the previous fabric so you have to like clear it out make room perfect sense
still have a bunch of felts that I need to get through. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. Just thinking. So, when I had to pull the toaster oven out of the hallway closet, one of the crock pots is on top of it. And I forgot to put it back. Oh, I think I passed it. Yeah, I did. So it was in the hallway and Vic was like, I'm assuming this is where your ADHD took, took advantage of, of you. Because I left it in the hallway and didn't put it back. Because what ended up happening was I got I got the toaster oven out, I put it on the table, and then I had the loaf of bread that I was going to turn into, I wanted to save some of it out for sandwiches, and then the other part I wanted to turn into croutons. And I'm like, well, I need to put the bread somewhere that I'm going to be saving out for sandwiches. And we have a container that we put the bread in, but it was dirty. So I had to go and had to wash the container. And then when I was washing the container, we still had some stuff left over from lunch that I had to watch that I was like, oh, I'm already here. I might as well wash these. And then by the time that I was doing all of that, and then he was just like, why is the crock pot out in the, in the hall? And then I had to tell him because I didn't put it back. Ah. <laughs> uh. At least he understands. <laughs> and then there was a comedian. I don't know the name. We saw them on YouTube. It was like part of their act. And this person says that they were married to somebody with ADHD. And something about the, the way that it works was she wanted to do vacuuming. So, you know, she starts out vacuuming. You get the vacuum cleaner out. You go and you, you do the thing. And then next thing he knows is that, like, the toolbox is out. The table is in disarray because when she was vacuuming, she found out that, like, the table was wiggly because it needed to be tightened. And so she took off two of the legs. And Nick was just like, this is, this is you. And I'm like, yeah. It's just that's how the mind works. <clears throat> I mean, if you have it, you'll understand. Or if you know somebody who has it, you'd understand. It's... Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not, and when it doesn't want to function and your brain doesn't brain doesn't fire the way it should, it's it it throws it throws everybody through a tizzy. Like psst. there'd be so many times I remember when I lived alone where I would be putting I put something in the oven and I forgot about it. I got so distracted by doing a whole bunch of other stuff just totally fucking forgot and then until like the smoke alarm started going off or if it got really uh smoky in the house i'm just like shit burned french fries burned fish burned burned pizza
Vic said I can't go into his room while I'm while he's gone because if I move things around, he's not gonna be able to find any. <laughs> We also threatened to hide all the power tool cables. I told him I'm not going to operate the table saw. Not after that last, the first and only time that I operated that thing. Nope. Nope. So much open that. No table saw action for me. So the table saw, if you don't know what a table saw is, that thing is legitimate trying to kill you and you allowed it in your house. It's the thing that it's like a, a stand and it's got the fucking blade in here and you push the wood through it goes, yeah. Well, I've seen Vic operate it enough times. So I'm just like, I can do this. He was at work and I don't even remember what I was. I was wanting to make something and I needed a little piece of wood off of the one by two that we had and I was like all right nope I can totally use you know use this you know it's a one by two just you know chop off like that much of it nope um what ended up happening was everything was going great you know I psyched myself up to operate this thing in the first place because I've seen what is done. It actually it has wounded and scarred Vic. Um, one time it it kicked a piece of wood onto his shin, and he's got a scar from that. But anyway, so I had to psych myself up to use this thing, and everything was going great. I was just like, you know, yep, we got it. And just doing the feed through, you have like a little push thing. That you're pushing it through so that your hands are not there everything was going fine and then when i went to go turn it off the underneath you gotta turn it off you flip a cable or flip a switch i mean the little piece of wood that i had managed to cut off decided that it was going to fall down where the blade was spinning and that thing i shit you not kicked it out against the wall there is now a hole or a dent because we have plaster concrete walls we don't have you know fucking drywall here this thing sucked that little piece of wood down it was probably the size of this the tic tac box right it sucked it down and it shot it out and i was like holy fuck after that, I turned it off and never again, never fucking again. I'm never touching that thing ever again because if that thing didn't shoot out that way, that thing was going to shoot at me and I was going to get, I was going to get maimed probably from it. It wasn't safety goggles. No, 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 no. So here, hold on. Safety goggles would not do anything for this. You find a really good image. Of where it went wrong. Open image in new tab. All right, so you're gonna have to bear with me. This is like the only one that has like a good, clear enough. Oh yeah, you wear oper you wear goggles. I mean, when I operate the lathe, I wear goggles. All right, so this is a table saw, right? This is not the one that we have, but this is gonna give you an idea. So you go and you push the wood through and it cuts it, right? That little piece of wood got sucked down into here. You see this right here and the way that this thing is it got sucked down and went psh, shot right the fuck out but yeah no it it was it's in that little hole where the blade is going that's it was bad it was so goddamn bad i don't even know what brand it is it's yellow 
It's not a DeWalt. Kind of looks like one, but it's not. Right? And then when I when Vic came home and he found out about that whole entire situation, he was like, you're lucky it didn't suck you in with it. Kind of looks like this, but it's not that. It's not a DeWalt. I don't know what it is. Is it a Stanley? Stanley's are yellow, right? Oh, I think it is a Stanley. I think it is. I think it's this thing. This looks like it. This looks exactly like it. Except this is a little bit more off to the side. But yeah. I can't really find a better picture. But yeah, the thing went... And then went... But yeah, that was when I learned that that thing will suck anything down that itty bitty hole that you don't think it... You don't think it... Things will fall down there that easily. Mm -mm, nope. Nope, 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 nope. That shit fell down there. At least... At least... Oh, what was it that you sent with me when I moved here? It's not a jigsaw. It's not a Dremel. What is that? Oh, it's heavy and it's loud because we don't have it on rubber feet. Yeah, the thingy. Oh, what is that? It's not a miter saw. <sighs> scroll saw, yeah. I feel safer operating a scroll saw compared to a fucking table saw. And that thing is literally trying to pull your fingers into the blade that's going up and down. <laughs> you think, ah, oh, hell no, are you kidding me? <sighs> nah, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Because I had the confidence that I could do it. Because I watched Vic do it so many times. <laughs> yeah, no, it was... Mm. Mm-mm-mm. In the end, lesson learned. I can still use adult supervision. I can still use the scroll saw by myself. I can still use the lathe by myself. CNC, Vic won't let me touch because that's his baby. Just like I really don't let him touch these things because these are my babies. But Psst. But yeah, no, it's... <sighs> and then I found out that Vic is actually kind of scared to use the table saw, so it's not just a me thing. doing this for a good bit of time that's okay we're just it's a chill night it's a chill night we're not doing world vs world for a good bit of time because 
as you guys know, the servers are gone and people are pissed. Oh yeah, those that Q balancing. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I mean, we could talk about the U-Haul situation. That shit scrapes. <laughs> Talking about, like, about the, the life-threatening accident. <laughs> that thing is scraped. Oh my god. After that, I can definitely confirm that if you're going to be using a big rig, please, for the love of God, test, test your brakes and see how long it takes for the vehicle to slow down. Because you may just have actually overloaded the shit out of that and it's going to take a long time to fucking break. If anything, I think the life-threatening accident actually made me a little bit more adventurous. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Like, it could have been a lot worse. Anywho, officially, once July is done, Halloween starts. Yeah. I mean, every day is Halloween for me, but you know, I'm.
still kind of mad that Vic ruined my soldering iron. Like, I don't know if he just did not take care of that tip that well, but that thing needs some serious TLC, and I think we just need to replace the tip. Because that thing is fucked up. I had a nice and nice soldering iron. It's nice and pretty. I totally don't know where I'm at with this right now. Okay, me there. All I can say is buck snort, kitty. Buck snort. Dive, dive. Oh, so Steve has integrated fairly well into the household. Currently looking at all things that we can possibly do to improve Steve. Not cosmetic wise. Um, like that's going to be an ongoing thing, but I know that he seems to have an issue finding home, like where the, the charging dock is when he's in a different room because the charging dock is out there. Because he was in here earlier and he was just like, I don't know where the fuck it is. So we might be able to put... I, mean, I don't know. It's got to be like a GitHub or something with that.
Interesting. GitHub has some stuff. Yeah, I'm going to have to look into it. <clears throat> Maybe I'll make some something that can help. Because the one that we adopted was an E5. Which, it just, it, it boops around. It's not bad. I mean, it definitely helps, but it would be nice possibly to maybe create something for it to use. I don't know. That's the other thing I needed to do this weekend. It might be pushed off until Monday if Orion is still here. Pal world. I'm thinking of just nixing it all and starting it all over again since there's been so many updates to it. It's gonna suck because I was happy where I was level wise. But I think I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and be like, you know what, just lose the progress and we'll just start over again. I'm just kind of pissed off that that shit happened. So yeah, I might... I mean, we'll still hold on to the old files just in case if you know, but I doubt that they fixed it. We're gonna try it. We'll try it before, you know, doing stuff, but since Vic is the one who took it upon himself to set it up in the first place, I don't know much about where he put some things file wise and since he's going to be gone this weekend it's going to be have to be something that i'm going to ask him when he gets back a decent amount of like these crest things that sell for like five silver or something like that. It's not bad. Um, no, we will be doing Arma on Tuesday. He's only gone for the weekend. Like, we're still on for Arma tomorrow, just we won't have Vic. It does remind me, I need to change what game I'm streaming on Wednesday because it's no longer Baldur's Gate 3. Because I got a game from the Steam sale and I am looking forward to playing it with you guys to watch. I'm not going to tell you until you show up.
Oh, Jesus, okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're going south. I'm like, wait, I was just okay, yeah. I mean hopefully we can actually get to the air base tomorrow. Maybe. This thing is always here. Might as well just grab it while we're going by. That's good. I do know, okay, so after stream I'm making Rice Krispie Treats, but I also have, I also have to do the video for tomorrow, which I don't remember which map it is for Gilbert's 2. The how to meta. Yeah, no, this is when you have to bring all of the fun toys in a box. Which, since we're talking about Arma 3, if you want to join us, Arma 3 has a humongous sale going on in Steam. Like, seriously, it's, it's one hell of a fucking deal. And I'm pretty sure I pinged that in Discord. Summer sales are always nice. Number two's got the sale. Steam has the sale. Everybody's got the sale. The fucking grocery store has a sale. But at least we have stocked up and we'll be good for a year on some things. Because you can't really beat four for two. I mean, it would be nice if it was, you know, like, buy, buy one, get one free, but no, it's buy two, get two free. Because, fuck your logic, but...
I can see that there's a lot of people doing this. Other ones are there for the three hundreds. Fit the Lumi Tower fractal. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I have to go find these. And then, yeah. Okay. Oh, iron marches. As we kind of found out, just kind of leave the area and then go back. Should be back now. Oh my god, why am I so itchy right there? Merchants. This event is still running. Oh, that reminds me. So last night I actually finished the Secrets of the Obscure storyline. I... Wow. That was one hell of a fucking fight at the end. Thank <laughs> you. 
If this is going to stay longer than the five days or whatever it's been slated to run, I would have made a guide for it, but... By the time I found out that there was actually something going on, it was yesterday and there was like four days left. So... Sucks. Ooh, I missed it. Murder, 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 This has always got a lot. I think after this cycle we'll go back to LA, do some of those infusion things again, and then go again. Six. That's weird. 
All right, the hunter thoughts. We'll get some coffee here soon. So I'm going to go get a cup of coffee and I'll be right back.
<clears throat> Coffee has been procured. So where am I at with these? I have a 16. I now have a 17 and a 16. Oh. And a 14. Okay. So the highest is a 30. Jesus. Um, if I can just reach the 20 tonight, I'll probably call that good enough. How many of these do I still have? 30? We'll use them up. We'll use them all up until until I need to get more with that. What does this look like? Eh. I still prefer the one I've got. I mean, I've always enjoyed my Kraken, so... I thought I could breathe her. Yeah, I need to put that in there. Hey, Rear. Hey. Hey. How was how was your visit? You good? Alright. <laughs> Oh my god, I had to make my own coffee. Aren't you grouse? <laughs> oh, this stupid, I love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's the PLD that we need to wait to dry. The new one? No, the old one. Oh, we need to put the new one too. Oh. Yeah, we should At do. some point, we'll have to dry. Yeah. So you're good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Well, you're set for the weekend. Yeah. Let's go sell some of this crap that I don't need. So 
Oof. So if you want to do stuff like this, I'm going to highly recommend you sell your crests. The ones that are these, the yellow ones, because you can get a decent amount of silver from it. And silver, it stacks up. It really does stack up. I mean, look at that. After a couple of those runs, I got five gold already. So. So yeah, I think we'll just keep doing this until I can get the 20 plus infusion and then I'm going to go do something else. I know you guys probably just like, gosh, she keeps doing the same goddamn thing over and over again. And I'm sorry, but if you knew the, import the importance of this, you probably understand too. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Because <clears throat> I'm not paying 287 gold just to get that right out the bat. Fucking crazy. Wait, so they're set. Okay, so I'm, I'm going like reviewing. Get another eye appointment? Bro. Are you okay? <laughs> Wait, what are they going to do to test your cornea? I've got questions. It feels like there's a piece of hair that's like tickling my ear. The wrong way. Oh. 
Oh shit, 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 shit. Skeletons! I think so. Chugga 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 Platinum Laura. Timberling Falls. I should Timberline. My bad, not Timberling. Oh, I was supposed to stop at the at the fifteen. Okay, well, no, I I see what you're talking about. So it says by comparison, upgrading them directly to thirty two plus fifteen infusions, and then to one at twenty plus infusion only costs twenty three gold. That's what I was trying to do. All right, I'm still good. I'm still good. I have the one sixteen, so. Because I do, I mean, if I get to the 32, that'd be great, but. You can always sell the 16. Guys are still there.
Mm, iron merchants. Should be the end of this route. goes. So each one of these runs gives me about 33, I think, give or take, something like that. So hold up. You have to do this run like 30 some odd times. Okay. It's honestly not that bad. I don't know how many runs I've done. <laughs> oh, I do have a 17. 12? Okay. to get more of these. I had 75. So I can do seven runs. I don't know how many that I got started with. So they definitely dumped some some karma, but I got like four million, so that'll be fine. Did not leave the area far enough. I think I'm under attack. I am not under attack. Let's go. Oh, there I was like, it should tell me. Yeah, eight times. So I'm almost a third of the way through. Fucking hell. Oh well. Scourge. Yeah, Vic, we're gonna have to re reverse the drawer. Second drawer it keeps popping out like the first one did. Just FYI. Keeps rolling out.
Вот. Stoppers anymore, so. There's no stoppers? No. Oh, there they are. Fuck, I don't know. Well, maybe I got something stuck on the bottom or that's making it do that. I don't know, just like the whole entire time it just keeps rolling out. Let's try it this way. Let's see if it's faster. Oh yeah, no, this is like way faster. Makes sense. Actually, I think it's about the same. I think it's a little bit further than that. No, well, maybe we can try the south side next time. Gotta, gotta make sounds Oops, at times.
Just had a funny idea. Hey, Vic. If you came home and a bunch of Furbies were waiting for you, what would you do? <laughs> Especially if they were all powered on. God, can you imagine? We only got enough batteries for like two, so. <laughs> Burn the house after. <laughs> Have them at the door, so when he opens up the door, they're just like, Welcome home! In the circle. Summoning. Nah. So, yeah, I can't go into his room. Cannot operate power tools. What else? Can't have parties. Can't have can't have people over. Unless it's Hellraiser. That last one's my own fucking rule. Oops. Silver ore. Because I couldn't remember which way I was going. I said that we can't have people over unless it's all raised, but that's my own rule. Stranger danger. Oh my god. You're welcome.
Okay, you know what? I'm gonna fucking leave this area because apparently it's just gonna keep getting attacked. Christ. But I do know that if Hellraiser came over, he would have to succumb to the Furbies and Kita. And, and and Steve, and then there's Billy, and all of the weird shit that's in this house. That's fine. <laughs> You'd have to pass the test. Do the Furbies accept you as one of them? <laughs> Story time! So when I lived alone in Atlanta, I think this actually started when I lived back in Illinois on my own, but whenever, Kitty can attest to this, whenever they would come over, Kitty or my mom or something like that, I'd always have to say that they would have to give me a password. Usually, password is a cookie. Shit, which way am I going? Not Maelstrom. Let's try the south one. But yeah, and then I think at some point in time... I don't know. I think my sister took me out for a couple of milkshake runs as a password, but yeah, usually, usually the password is cookies. No, they never complained. <laughs> oh, that south one is real fast. Okay. Am I still attacking shit? This is why we can't have nice things. What? You, do you sense it? Do you sense that he's going to be disappearing for like 48 hours? Huh? Actually, it's less than that. Look at this nose. Look at this nose right here. Look at this. I think the only actual thing that I'm always worried about is when people come and they have to meet Kida. Because she's 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 a good good guard dog. She doesn't attack or anything, but she's real hesitant about people. Um this past Christmas when we had the fam over first 10 15 minutes she was just like i'm really suspicious about you by the end of the night she's just like oh my god love me some more so <laughs> that's pretty much what happens so if you can handle the dog being super judgmental of you at the beginning for like a good 15 20 minutes i think you'll be fine But yeah, by the end, end of the night, she was, like, asking for pets and rubs and 
everything from everybody. She's just like, okay, you're fine. Kind of like my experience with with Lady, except Lady is just a bunch of fucking sass. That that void dog is sass. That thing is nothing but sass. Sass. Oh yeah, I know she's cautious, and I like that because if you know we're going out at night, like three o'clock in the morning, like she's like watching people, and she's just like, do I need to like. Like get a you know alert or I'm like I'm pretty sure that somebody tried to attack me at night or Vic. I think she's gonna go after the dude. So Oh yeah, Lady loves me now. At first she wanted to shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ. And at the end of the time she's just like, Take me with you. I'm like, Kitty won't let me. Kitty will not let me take you with me, I'm sorry. Yep, definitely you're a sexy bitch. Alright, that is officially a third of the way through. Do this. This is gonna take some time. I think I wanna stop with that or we're gonna go do something else. Alright, so one of the things that I did was the Midnight King. I wanna see if any of these yeah, they got achievement points, but I'm looking- oh, fuck. Yeah, let's do things. Alright. <laughs> so, um, in order to get this mastery point, honestly, I don't really need them. I mean, it would be nice to have it, but I only need the one to unlock it the first time. I'm just gonna do one of these. Complete a tier 3 hunt in Amnitas instead of a tier 2 hunt. Okay, we might be able to go do that. Just change this up a little bit. Because I can grind that thing day in and day out, no, no problem. I got three days to get to the 20 infusion. I mean, it's not going to hurt my feelings if I don't get the 30, because I'm pretty sure this is going to come out again. This is just something that you can do. I am now 
Crowd tracking tier three rifts. Okay, wait, I need to... Also, kitty, wow, my voice is cracked. <clears throat> Whenever you decide to, you know, like, power your computer on and, you know, shit like that, let me know so that we can go and do Gilbert's 2 stuff. Uh, that's where I was. I was looking for that. Because we can definitely work on getting some things for you. Also that. That's also important, yeah. I mean, where the fuck is it going? <laughs> Okay, so that's a tier three. Looks like the meta just started here, so. Since we're in that last that last bit of time for the stream, um, I am actually thinking of this is just an idea. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but maybe at like the beginning of the week, like on a Sunday or a Monday, um, same my plan for the week like stream wise so that if you guys wanted to you know like schedule time out if you wanted to join on something i mean besides just knowing that like tuesdays is arma 3 wednesdays is something that i play solo thursdays is warframe friday is guild wars 2. like maybe if we like planned what we were doing maybe you know coordination I don't know. Does that sound like fun? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Just an idea that came across my mind the other day.
The only reason why, because I've thought about this in the past before, but um, yesterday when I was doing the um, Ascension thing in Warframe, I was thinking, you know, maybe if maybe if I had pinged it, you know, the day before or something, then maybe, you know, if people were interested in doing that, maybe they would have showed up. I don't know. Yeah, more planning and organization. That's what I was thinking. If it's going to work or not with my ass, that's, I don't know. But you know, I'm just trying to, I don't know, be more proactive instead of reactive. I'm going to dive. I mean, we still have to do the monthly Guild Wars 1 thing. I mean, I would like to still do that. Also, that kind of goes back into, like, I don't know if you guys remember this, but like maybe a year and a half, two years ago at this point. Um, I wanted to know what people needed help with in games, and then, you know, like, that could be part of it. Like, like, hey, you know, I need to get through, like, a Heart of Thorns or something, and I would be like, yeah, let's totally do that. We can do that for a night during the stream. I have no fucking issues. I don't remember what comes after this. Alright. We have to go back here? Yeah. I mean, I'm still... It's gonna sound really weird. I've been streaming for, what, five years? Like... A steady, scheduled thing for five years? I mean... Theoretically, I started streaming in 2018, but that was like test things and getting an idea, and then 2019 was when I were just... But anyway. But I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to come up with more things that, you know, just community stuff, because then in the end, that's what I want to do. I want to build a healthy community with you guys in it, obviously. It's just like, I mean, I know that Kitty probably has to get through some of the stories in this game. Um, I know that there's some people in Warframe that need to get through, like, the home nodes. Not the home nodes, the planetary system. Or if they need, like, a Kavat gene genetic thing, or they need to go farm for Warframe, or something like that. I know in Arma, you know, we're collectively pushing to conquer that map. I mean, I know that I'm a couple of months behind on some of the things I wanted to do this year. I'm not kicking myself because the last couple of months has been kind of weird. So, especially last month, like, Jesus, you know, surprise visits to the USA. But, I mean, I started doing a lot of stuff this year that I honestly didn't think I was going to do. Like my my schedule release content stuff. I think it's more of just trying to find stuff that works that is a positive thing.
I do like the thing that I've been doing with Squirrel lately with Warframe. Um, once a month on a Sunday, steal paths, see how far you get in there. It's nice. I actually like that a lot. It's giving me inspiration. It's gonna hurt. I'm trying to think before. I think we got one more holiday in this game before um, Halloween event. I think. I think it's the Zephyrites. I don't think we've had that one already. But I do know that we're going to be going nuts with the Halloween events, I think. I'm hoping so. I'm going to do that labyrinth farm like crazy. So, I mean, October? Jesus Christ. Forget that you have to be chucking this shit at them. They don't take normal damage.
Anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Ah! Yeah, so for the Labyrinth run, that's when we drop a bunch of stuff, um, like for goodies and things, and make profit. I know, and Warframe, no, Navarus is going to be around that time too, so, lots of stuff. Nasty tentacles. So, so far with the season thing, we had an epic skin for the griffin, we had an epic skin for the skimmer, I wonder if we're going to get an epic skin for all of them via these seasons, because that's going to be fucking cool. Orbs of Doom? Where's the thing? Oh, this one's down. Holy shit, a lot of people went down. So let's see here. Yeah, I want to say that the
Zephyrites. When do they come? I think they come into 11th and Cliffs. When does this come? Those are the four lands. Yoga. Oh, did I lag? No. Yeah, Bizarre of the Four Winds, yeah, so... Annual Festival in July. Okay. So yeah, that's gonna be the next one that comes up. That's the one that... If you want to do, um... In like your crystals. That's the one that you do. I guess. That's so weird why they put that there. Got all of those. Also, when you do this after you unlock all of these things, you can sell these weapons for some nice, some nice cash. I'll just start us because I don't have enough of that. Alright. 
So for a tier three rift. Oh, it's still over here on the north side. Right there. I doubt there's anybody over here. Maybe. I don't know. Map closes in a minute 30, so. I was waiting for him, just like, alright, we'll just go fuck with this. Someone says this is tier one. Let's go here. It's been too long since I've done one of these, so... So it's probably that down there. Oh, it's not. right here. Okay, this is saying tier one. It should not... Three is over there. I mean, we're kind of committed to this one, but. Hmm. 
There it goes. So there's a group event two or three. Yep. Should be a tier three up here, unless I'm not understanding how these things work. Alright, no, we figured it out. Yep, these are two or threes. Because this is right here. Champion Avatar of Rage. Rawr. Okay, maybe we'll stick this thing with a 10 foot pole. What's up, Missy? Oh shit. It's been a while. RIP servers. Oh shit. Where are you going? Uh oh, they're down again. And yeah, they're up again. Yes. I 
haven't logged into World vs. World ever since it happened. I have heard it is not good. <laughs> I mean, earlier... Where is it? B button. Yeah, earlier we had like a 51 man queue for EVG. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna run away. That's what I wanna do. <laughs> God damn. This one hurts. Poke it with a stick. Poke it with a stick. Jesus. Yeah. Nice. Got that done. I don't think that's the thing I needed. Uh, that's not what I needed. What did I need? Was it... Did I fuck up? I think I fucked up. Is that not what this is? Completed tier 3 hunt. What the shit was that that I just did? I don't know what that is if that's not like what? Wait, story wise. I have to go into the story for that. Duh. Reading comprehension. Let's see that. Alright. Yeah, but... <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but I heard... I heard that things have not been... Not been that great for some of the things. Like, this is what? 10.37 my time in the, in the evening? EBG's got a 26 main queue... Like, it's, in the end, it's the same problems. You're going to have the cues because they still can't, they don't know how to balance. I mean, they say that they know how to balance. They, they don't know how to balance. I'm sorry. I'm calling it. I've called that for years. But at least Rawl has his, has his name still here. Apparently that's the one I'm on. I don't know. I mean, that's what it says. So, <laughs> But yeah, no, I'm just... Mm -mm. I mean, so... Yeah. I... I got questions about their algorithm, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, machine learning would probably be a better, like, just use some fucking AI to balance that shit, because apparently their algorithm has been... Like, in the beginning, servers were, you know, there was the things, you know, like Blackgate, Jade Quarry, DC, we were stuck between Tier 2 and Tier 1 for the longest time. And then, we're not going to even talk about Maguma, but... Obviously, that shit was, it worked. People would get pissed off because they would stack servers, but I'm going to be honest. You had, there were, there were fights. Were they kind of asinine at times? Yeah. But that's like everywhere. And then when they did the, the merging of two or three servers just to help out with the population balance, it was okay. Um, I felt like that actually gave a little bit more enjoyment. I don't know if it's just because I played it for so long, but like every, what was it, every six weeks, you got to see another server and meet new friends, meet new people. And if you really liked them, you could swap servers, you know, stuff like that. And I felt like that was, that was actually pretty good for advertisements because in one thing you got to see the community and the health of a server. And if you liked it, you stayed. If you didn't, you went somewhere else. I mean, that's what it is. 
but now you don't even have that. Now you have created more like a click kind of grouping that you can only have one guild, and if you don't like some of those people in there, tough shit. You're stuck there for however long that you have. It's, it's I don't like it. I do not like it. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I know that for TC, we had our ups and downs. There were some people who shall not be named who, in my opinion, kind of killed the enjoyment for a lot of people and she uh, chased a lot of people away because of how she ran things. But in the end, I still liked the overall community that TC used to have. And it just kind of, you know, demoralized over time because of shit that went down. But anyway. Um, but in the end, you got to log in. Like, hey, I want to go do World vs. World. You log in during your normal time. Hey, I see these people. I like these people. I want to go run with these people. Hey, these people aren't running now. But hey, I know these guys. I want to go run with them. I liked that. But now you're pretty much stuck with, I only like these people and these people alone, and you're stuck with them. I don't, like, how are you going to, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't like it. I really do not like the concept of it. That's why I haven't logged in into World vs. World, because I don't, I don't want to see what I'm stuck with. I probably have monkey. I don't know. <laughs> You know what? Fuck it. Let's let's go. Let's see what this is. This is probably going to be horrible, but like, yeah, you wanted to have a more <laughs> Savant isn't bad. I used to do commanding late nights with him, so hey, we got we have our home borderlands, and we have stun mist. Okay. Oh, we got, okay, we got some weird ones. Hey, I know that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, we got a mag group. Fuck. I don't have anything that looks familiar. These must be like lower tiered ones. I don't know. Ouroboros Protocol, okay. I've never heard of some of these. Besides Hunt. Anyway. So, I mean, I, I get that they wanted to, like, try to bounce. It's, in the end, it's the same problem. Different solution. Because you're still going to have balancing issues. You're still accused. That's that's going to be your thing because people are going to instead of stacking servers, you're stacking guilds. So instead of a big problem, you created a, another big problem. And then what is the the limit for a guild? I don't know. I have a tiny ass guild that nobody plays, so I don't even know how many people that you can invite. It's like what two hundred and fifty probably, like a stack of people. I don't know how many people does does Grin have? They got fifty eight members. Oh, but anyway, so at this point in time, Edge of the Mist is probably more entertaining in my opinion. <laughs> right, and that's the other thing. I understand that timing is not their forte. I mean, for fuck's sake, Janthier Wilds were going to get housing. That should have been done like ten years ago. Better late than never, I guess, but 2012 to, as you said, oh, I know, I the myth. I, Edge of the Mist has been dead ever since, like, what, two months after release? Because people got bored and they found out you didn't get rewards. But anyway, yeah, no, 2012 to 2016, 17, so that would have been four years, I think, seasons, seasons just kind of we're wrapping up i think we still had seasons up until 2015. i get that and then yeah you wanted to do this do it why take seven years i mean just rip that band-aid off and just 
say, hey, we're going to do this. Like, I understand that you wanted to test things, but honestly, yeah, I'm, I'm on the same boat with you of seven years is a long time. Yeah, and that's the other thing. So if I recall, memory may not be serving me well on this one, but when Edge of the Mist came out, they were originally using that as a test bed. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just go here. Nobody's going to get me in there. So... When they first came out with this, it's supposed to be a test bed, and there were some things that they had implemented that worked. And it's like, awesome! And then it's like, that was it. Used it once, that was, that was it. Nothing else. Like, this still has so much potential. Like, I'm pretty sure that... Call me crazy! Instead of dealing with map cues like this, you could have at least given maybe some rewards, maybe not get them as fast as, you know, actual world versus world, but give them the same fucking rewards in here. Maybe you would have a better map cue solution instead of just, you know, dissolving entire communities that have been there for however fucking long. Was it 12 years? This game is 12 years old? Right? Like that also, that would have been so much easier because in the end you would have this, that's not an abandoned thing at all. People would be using this. I mean, honestly, I liked it when Adenzo used this as a training ground. I don't know if that's just a me thing, but you know, like Adenzu and Nightlight, they would use this as a training ground. That was so much fun. You get to see people running off of the sides because they weren't sticking to the, the group. And everything else. It was great. It was fantastic. And then that was it. And now this just sits here. Gathering dust. Because nobody fucking uses it. And you don't get anything from it. Instead of developing the whole entire stupid alliance thing. That took seven years. You could have just. Made this. Just like this. Just give half the reward. Because I understand that you don't want to. You know. You don't want people to stay in here. But at least make it worth doing something like just <laughs> mental gymnastics at a net baffles me at times right i mean i'm still pissed off i don't know if i'm the only one on this but alpine borderlands right i don't like the i don't like these give me my island back in the middle of it with the pearls I mean, if you want to even go back, give me the fucking orbs, the ones that were that was up here. I mean, this, this is still here, but there's nothing there. I mean, that shit, that shit was fun. This was fun. I loved it, especially with TC, because back then, a lot of people in TC had upgraded underwater weapons. And we were just like, fuck yeah, underwater combat. That was a thing. You know... You get nothing in here. You never get a fight in green water. You never get a fight in any of these things. The only time that you get a fight in water is maybe with Bay, and then here. And that's only if people decided to go and try to break the, the gates underneath the water. That was it. That was fucking it. Oh my god. Just... <clears throat> and then let's not even go into the whole entire, like, the, when they decided to make all of the maps... Desert maps. That was a goddamn mistake. <laughs> ah, I was out of the country <laughs> when that was going on. Don't get me wrong. The desert borderland, it's not bad. It's not great. It could be a lot worse. I mean, if you want, if you want to change things up from your typical EBG or the Alpines. I mean, it's not bad. But also, here's another thing. If you hear me out. We have two Alpines still. We have one desert. Why don't we get another map in here and change out one of the Alpines or something? Just not a desert or something. I don't know. Because the desert came out with Path of Fire, right? <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe I I don't know. Like there's 
There was so many things that they could have done with World vs. World, and they didn't. And I feel like they honestly, they don't, they, they don't listen to the people. They don't. And that's the thing, like, I mean, you can see on how much bigger this is compared to these two. Like, this, I think, is even bigger than EBG. And I get it, but they could have come up with something else. I don't know, like another Edge of the Mist mappy kind of thing or something where, like, variety. Variety keeps people interested. That keeps people engaged. <clears throat> like, I get it. I, yeah, we could have done a vertical one with a bunch of like little mushroom jumping or something or rifts or I don't know. I mean, since they don't want to use sky skills in here, I mean, and I get that, but they, they had so much potential and I just feel like they squandered it. I love this game. I love the overall vibe of this game. I mean, I'm a Guild Wars 1 player and this alliance thing is nothing like the alliance things in Guild Wars 1, first of all. But, like, I'm going to, I mean, I've already got Janther Wilds pre-purchased. <laughs> I'm going to keep playing this game. I just wish that, I wish that whoever is behind this listened to the veterans that played the crap out of this for years and years and years and years. And I feel like they just don't. And it hurts in the end. Right? Oh god, yeah, no. And a dragons? That thing is so pretty. It's so pretty. Um Yeah, no, I when I saw that we were going back to because I remember when Path of Fire came out. And I was kind of disappointed because I was just like, you know, we had prophecies and then we had factions and then we had nightfall. And then it's like, they just went from prophecies to nightfall. Where the fuck did factions go? I understand kind of what the lore, but at the same time, it was like, ugh. They really should. They really, really should. But yeah, no, I was... I was pretty happy to see this. I was kind of disappointed that we couldn't go into the old kining because that place was... I wanted to see what that looked like after, you know, 250 years, but... But... I enjoyed, like, going through here, playing through the story, and like, Oh my god, I remember this! And... Yeah. <laughs> it was nice. It was nice. I mean, I was also doing that with, um... Like... Path of Fire stuff too, because I was like, holy shit! <laughs> but at the same time, just, oh man. Yeah. But they did mention it. They did mention it. <clears throat> I'm just still salty that the alliance that I was in with Guild Wars 1 was Luxon. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a crazy to the core. <clears throat> Oh, you were a Nightfall? Dude, Nightfall had a lot of fun stuff in it. I still need to go work on my HOM. <laughs> but yeah, no, I hope that you enjoy the story of this, if you haven't beaten this one yet. It was, it was nice. It was really nice seeing stuff. Oh, that desert. Yeah. But yeah, no, I just... I really, I'm, I'm really passionate about this game. I mean, I know that there's a lot of people who are just like, oh, you know, there's nothing that keeps me interested in it anymore. And it's just, every single time that there's an expansion, I'm just like, ooh, ooh, where are we going next? I want to see. I want to see, like, what things look like. <clears throat> oh, man. Yeah, I, no, my fucking HOM title is Luxon. You know how sad that is? That sucks. And the worst part is that I mean, we were just talking about this earlier, is that in the community that I run, that I wanted to do um, once a month Guild Wars 1 stuff, you can't, I can't even get a, a Kurzik title anymore. I'm going to be stuck with fucking Saxons, so. 
Oh yeah, no, Ice Brew Saga was fucking lit. That thing was awesome, right? But yeah, no, it was nice. I mean, I still play Gilbert's one once a month. <laughs> Don't you tell me I have to go to another map. But I have no, I think we're going to be going over here somewhere. I love Janthea, Janthea bit, yeah, it's going to be a lot of water. Finally, water is relevant in this game. <laughs> My first legendary was Kraken, so I'm a bit salty about that too. <laughs> Oh, God. But yeah, no. It's just, it's just things. It's just things. It's a lot of stuff. I don't even know what the fuck this is. This looks, this looks like the, the monastery, but not the monastery. What the fuck is that? <clears throat> oh, dude, Kutsu? Oh, no, I got the dreamer. That's what it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Buttons, what are they? So, I'm working on legendaries. I've got five that I need to just finish up, and then, like, the rest of these. These are all generations. But, yeah, the lover. I'm slowly working on that. I have one of these. I have the dreamer on the Black Lion trading post. And I have another one here. <clears throat> and that's where all my money goes in this game. <laughs> Uh, I just, I, I'm like, you know, 12 years, I should probably finish up some of these legendaries for like the first gens. <laughs> I have to go back to doing map completion because apparently I only have three of these left, so it's a problem. Yeah. I mean, three of these, let's see here, Zap. Or is it Zap? Spark. And this one, the lover. These are the ones that I bought with with this stuff, the wizard's vault. <clears throat> now you need to do map completion with a friend. That's the thing you need to do. That was that was always fun. But yeah, no. I mean, Jesus Christ! When I came back to really playing this game, I found out that you can actually get like I mean, they got rid of it now, but the legendary rune thing. I was like. What? I gotta just go through this bank and get rid of some shit. So. <laughs> I still have, look, I still have instant armor reinforcing canisters. I still have stuff from Eye of the North. Not Eye of the North. Um, Edge of the Mist. Goddamn. Ah, <sighs> words. But yeah, I am currently working on this thing, the swim speed stuff. Except I had to take a break because I started getting a little bored because I did like 10 runs of that. So, it's one of those things. It's one of those things. What is this? We, oh. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. Ah. So, a long, long time ago, in a land far, far away, you actually might remember this one. Oh, Jesus Christ, and the dragons in two to three days. Jesus fuck. <laughs> um, there was somebody on TC named Lorenza Republic. She had another character named Burly Cankles. Wren of something something. I don't know. She was kind of loud and an attention seeker, in my opinion. But um, I actually did map completion rivals against her. And what I ended up doing was, I mean, it's just a core map. So I would go and I would like go do something. And then by the end of the night, I would tell her the percentage. And we were always trying to outdo one another, seeing who got into it first. <laughs> but yeah, oh, run in doubt. That's what it was. It is fun. It's actually really fun because A, it keeps you in check and B, it gives you a reason to do it. So, the one thing though that I was kind of intrigued when, since you are a fellow Guild Wars 1 player, where, where the fuck am I? Let me go back up here. 
Drachnar's light. I loved seeing this, but at the same time, there were some things that were a little off, especially the statue that was turned. But I really liked seeing this because of this area right here, where um, you go and you have to talk to Glint. And I don't know, just I really liked Drachnar's forge, so it was it was nice. We just called them Drocks or Drock runs or something like that, but it was fun. No. <laughs> no, you don't. Glint is, I mean, obviously you know that, you know, I mean, this is from Path of Fire. Glint is, so. Glint is definitely gone. <laughs> and then we had her first scion, which I don't remember his name. That one died. And then we have Orin, so. Right? Nah. Krakatorg's a bitch, so. Ah, <laughs> uh, but no, nah, it was nice. It was nice seeing this. You should. I'm gonna tell you whenever you get to this point, go talk to the to the to the NPC there. <clears throat> but yeah, nah. That's good. That's good. If, since we're talking about it, if you ever want something to do in Guild Wars 1, you should definitely let me know. If you want, I can actually like send you an invite or something on Discord and you don't have to do anything. But if you want to do Guild Wars 1 stuff with us, more the merrier. <laughs> Still want to do the deep run, goddammit. Also, I hope to God you have a sky skill because you're going to need it in this. Ah, shit, I missed. Yeah, the Missy, Vic. The Missy. <laughs> The griffin? You don't need the griffin. It's a 250 gold sink in the first place, but sky scale is going to be way easier to get around in this. If it goes just like, oh my god, the missy. <laughs> Vic is... Or... Obviously there's Grin. Uh, where the hell are you, Vic? Vic is, yeah. Even says Tarnish Ghost right there. Brienne Nightshade. Hammerstone Warrior. God, this account swim speed is gonna be a pain in my existence, but my OCD ness is gonna be like, no, we're gonna go fucking get the 30. You're gonna enjoy it. Anyway. He still fucking commands? Seriously, after all of these years? I thought he would have been like done with this shit by now. <laughs> Dude, I have no idea if Null is even alive anymore. I never see them online. Oh, so many commanders. So many.
Jesus Christ. Has he gotten rusty at all, Ruck? Like, holy crap. Yeah, that's gonna definitely be hard. Oh shit, that game. Is that even like a thing anymore? Yeah, still a thing. No, it is not. It says was. Never mind. <laughs> Might help if I read a little bit further. Oh, that's unfortunate. Jesus. My question, I actually really want to know this one is, does Paulus, Paulus of Disco, does he still fucking run? I don't even think he plays this game anymore. Yeah, no, I'm I'm at that point too. Right? I know that he had left, and that was about like the last thing that I knew. That was damn near almost ten years ago at this point, I think. Yeah, disco. That guy was fun. That guy was really fun to run around with. That guy just evaporated into thin air. I did see that you posted in the Discord, though, the pictures of the, the t-shirt, Missy. I was just like, yep. End of a legacy. Right? Although, to be fair, now that you actually have the image, you could probably refine it, get a nice quality of it. You could probably get it printed. Yeah. I was just happy that I had those pictures still. <laughs> And to me, that was the sign of a healthy fucking community that they decided to destroy ain't it? Thank you. It's okay. Don't be salty about it. Just like I'm salty with the chest of Kubro and Warframe and why that thing doesn't fucking do what it's supposed to anymore. <sighs> well, I can tell you one thing. Going back to this game... If you're going to be doing Secrets of the Obscure, one of the things that I highly recommend, since you're going to be doing a lot of stuff with your sky scale, is this one. You're going. To, I seriously dump your points into the sky scale mount. Get this done. It's going to help you tremendously. Especially the air rescue, because if you decide to do something and then you're just like, oh shit, whoops. Like this. I mean, obviously you have the glider, but at some point in time you can't go back up. Oops, you know? So. That was something that I noticed a lot of people in Secrets of the Obscure. <clears throat> Does he need a sky skill? Like, depends on which route he wants to do, because I actually made guides for that. <laughs> you can go with the Path of Fire version, which I found is a lot easier. Or you can do the Secrets of the Obscure version, which was a little bit more in involved. I know that's probably the not popular opinion, but I actually prefer the Path of Fire. It might be a little bit longer, but that one you just have to teleport to random places in... 
things and just go do something. That was all you had to do. <clears throat> but also, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if if you ever wants to, you know, yeah, get some ideas. Because I actually, that, I actually started making the guides, well, not exactly for that one. I made guides for World vs. World stuff, but the Skyscale one took probably a good four weeks for myself to actually sit down and do it, and I never want to do that again. That one was painful. It wasn't that bad in the end. It was just long and tedious because... The pictures that they gave you on the wiki sucked of where things are, so I'm just like, fuck this shit, I can do better. And I did. So. <laughs> yeah. No, it was fucking ridiculous. If you ever want to know what it is, hold on. Instead of just talking about this shit, I actually just renewed this. This is the website that I do. If you want some help, I do these. And these are all for free. I don't ask for anything. We do the, the metas. You want to get a siege turtle. 32 slot bags. Memorabilia, which I don't remember what the fuck that is anymore, but I did it. <laughs> Getting your griffin. I had to borrow Vic's account for that one. Skyskill version 2.0. Just, yeah. And it takes you through it because I do these as I'm doing the guide. Underwater Skimmer Mount Collection, that's so you can go underwater. Vessel of the Four Winds, Gain Your Sky Scale, that's the first one. War Clock Acquisition, and this, these are what kicked off this whole entire thing. 2018, so I've been doing this for a bit. So, although apparently Google Drive has been deleting some pictures and that makes me mad. So I have to go back and fix some of these because there are some images that are missing. And I found this out like at the beginning of this year and I was like, seriously? So, but yeah, no, I do these, so. <clears throat> awesome, thank you. Spread the word, but yeah. Every single time there's something that I want to make a guy for. I want the sky scale. Let's go do a guide. Seriously, the Wikipedia sucks for some pictures. Seriously, it sucks. And I take the time and effort, and I get pissed off if I can't get it. But. Alright, kitty. We'll see you later. I am out of coffee. Yeah, I need to get going on this one too, but it was awesome. Oh, I hope to see you around a little bit more. Let me see. Yeah, it was good. So, all right, boys and girls and everything that's in between. That is it for me this evening. We have Arma 3 session tomorrow. We're going to go pew, 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 get that fucking air base and probably die several times doing it, but that's okay. Um, back on Tuesday, Vic is not here during the weekend because he's going to be in a different state doing a race. So that's fun. Oh, shit. Thanks for the cheers, kitty. Um, but yeah, I think that's all we have. Um, as I had discussed earlier in the stream, I'm going to possibly see if I can convince myself to possibly post like a schedule for the week for streaming. If we're going to work on, oh shit, yeah. If we want to work on, um, Things like if somebody wants to work on a sky scale or getting something in Warframe or something like that, we can coordinate. No, you're going to have to get up here. Don't be lazy. There you go. She's like, thank you. Bye-bye. So, but yeah, I will see you guys on Tuesday. Until then, take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Yeah, she's like new human, new. She's being lazy. She's being a lazy dog. <laughs> Alright, catch you guys on Discord. Bye. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game